All right, can you all hear us? We can hear you. All right. Hello. Hi. Um, okay. Uh, what on the screen here? You, you want the PowerPoint, right? Okay. Hi, so we're from Cypress Springs High School. We're in, in Texas. My name is Nibu and I'm in 11th grade. And my name is Whitney Rancaster and I'm also in 11th grade. Cool. Okay, overview of our solution. We are using a bag baffle system to protect the astronaut's habitat from micrometeorites and radiation. We have a bag about micrometeorites. Bag on the outside of the supports that we made of a sit of a stiff, semi-flexible material. There will be a that will allow the astronauts to that will allow the soil to be distributed to all the baffles evenly. Once the astronauts I have one. I have one question. Are you trying to show stuff? Because we we see you, we're hearing you, but we don't see anything. So okay. one, yes, not sharing your screen. Okay. 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 So this is our project, and this is it's a it's a bag. Uh, and I'm still not you, seeing anything. We still don't see the PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, we, not, we see you guys, not the PowerPoint. Oh, that's because we have to share. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay. Are you able to see now? Uh, it usually takes a few seconds, so let's. Yeah, we're still not, not seeing it. Yeah. No. Uh, Do you see that line right there next to the leaf? It's the square with the arrow. Click on that. I hit the button of sharing. Yep. And then, down below, down below, you got to pick which one you like. Down, down the bottom of the screen, you got different options of what you want. Uh, there you go. That yes. Ah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so we see somebody okay. holding a bag in a container. Yep, that's what okay. we see now. Let's go to the PowerPoint first. Okay. We're so sorry, guys. <laughs> that's all right. That's OK. <laughs> we all keep switching from one program to another. It makes it confusing. Yeah, and sometimes you may have to stop sharing and then reshare to select the screen with the PowerPoint. That's right. All right. Do you all see the PowerPoint right now? No. no. So what you we'll want to see your, your yeah, bag X on the top next to where it says leave. That'll stop the sharing and then uh, click to reshare again and then select the PowerPoint you want to show. OK. Yes. OK, yes. Yes, Luna Baffle. So now we got it. High school. Yep. Okay, yes. All right, overview of our solution. We are using a bag baffle system to protect the astronauts' habitat from micrometeorites and radiation. We have a bag that will hold about five feet of lunar soil to the habitat and will be held in shape by supports and rope. There will be a bag on the outside of the supports that will be made out of a stiff, semi-flexible material. There will be a funnel on top of the habitat that will allow the soil to be distributed to all the baffles evenly. Once the astronauts are done filling the baffle, they can either remove the funnel and leave the top exposed or put a cover on top and put soil on the cover. Hey, wake up. I think the red is screen sharing. Right there. Right there. No. Yes. Okay. Do you see the video now? Uh, we see a look inside. A look inside. Okay. Let's talk to you. You're not seeing the, the video? No, we don't see a video. We, we see the next slide that says a look inside. So it, it looks like that it doesn't switch. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it looks like you have to stop sharing and then go to the 
and then choose what you want to share again. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we see your bag. Yes. So it'd be folded up. And okay. You could just place it on top. Um, one of the me methods we could place it is how like throwing it over like a tarp and then just having people hold it down. And then from there, we just pull it standing. So it would just be poured in and it'd be evenly distributed as it just falls down the sides. Okay, um, another way the astronauts can um, put the bag on top of it is by inflating it as a habitat inflates. Also, another way to apply the soil is through the top, but the snow, but the lunar soil blowers will be doing that. So it'll just be kind of coming over like this. But for the purpose of the presentation, we are just pouring it on top so y'all can quickly see it. But on the actual moon, it will be used with the blowers. And if we move the bag, the astronauts can just like wiggle the bag from the outside. But I don't know if you all can see. There is sand right here and it goes in towards the bowl on the inside. And if we would scale it up, it would be about five feet of soil actually between the in inside of the bowl to the outside of the bag. Okay, and then there will be about five feet of soil. And that's our demonstration. All right, we're going to switch over back to the slides real quick. There we go. We see, we see a look inside. A look inside. OK, so for the supports, there's four different sizes of supports using six per each side. We use the smaller supports at the bottom and they get larger as we go up. The supports have four holes in them to run string through them so we can attach them along to the bag and habitat like along here in these photos. And then the strings and supports. This image shows the two largest supports at the bottom with the two horizontal strings going through. In this picture, you can see the 90 degree angle of the support. So, oh, my apologies. And then the funnel piece would be split into six different sections, one per each section of the ball fold. The sole would be poured into the top of the funnel and be distributed evenly throughout the bag. And then this is what the whole thing would look like, the whole project um, inside. And then there's more wiring in this photo, but. Yeah. All right, for our materials. The soil baffle can be broken out, broken down into four different parts. The bag, the supports, the funnel, and the string. The bag. We modeled using it with the old pair of nylon track pants. When we would make this to go to space, we would make the bag out of polyester and nylon. Polyester and nylon are both durable, strong, and retain their shape. Polyester and nylon have been used in space before on Mars rovers as parachutes. So that's why we chose that fabric. Supports and funnels. We use a 3D printer to print out both of these parts. When we, used to make, when we would make this go to space, we would use an aluminum alloy because it is lightweight and durable, and it has been used in space on many occasions. For example, on the Apollo command module and on 
Orion spacecrafts. And here's a quote from the Aluminum Association, and it says, Aluminum has been the material of choice for space structures of all types. String. We modeled this using fishing wire. When we would make this to go to space, we would use Kevlar. Kevlar is a lightweight, flexible, flame resistant, and dimensionally stable material. Kevlar has been used in space before as the bridle of the pair as the bridle of parachutes on Mars. The bridle was basically the rope connecting the parachute to the rover. So it, all these materials have been used in space, but of course we can use really any material y'all want. So the assembly of the bag, we basically cut out pieces using a template that would fit to the dome. And then we would, we made another, we cut out um, another dome piece that was offset by the amount, that amount of soil that needed to be held. And then a ring was of cloth was made to connect the pieces to make the bag. And then we made us, we cut it down the middle to attach the support pieces to it. And then from there, the pieces were wired throughout for stability. And then the sides of the supports are attached to the larger piece of the dome. And then finally, the bag was sewed back up together. And this is what the final product would look like. <laughs> Assembly on the moon. When it comes to the astronauts assembling the baffle on the moon, there are two ways it can do it. Throw it over like a tarp and inflate it as the habitat inflates. For throwing it over like a tarp, once the astronauts are on the moon and have fully inflated the lunar habitat, they can toss the bag over like a parachute. This assembly method would take at least two astronauts to toss over and then they would either like stick it to the ground or attach it to the habitat itself. The other option is inflate as the astronauts, inflate it as the habitat inflates the astronauts would just place a folded bag on top of the deflated habitat and the bag will expand over the habitat as it would inflate. To keep the bag in place, the astronauts can either hold the bag in place as it inflates or hook it to the habitat beforehand, filling it with soil. The only way that soil can be applied to the bag is through the top, but once it's actually scaled, it will be about like five and a half feet. So it will be a very large target for the um, soil blowers to actually put it in. So it's not going to be that hard of a target. Actual size and scale. Our model is scaled at a 1 to 45 scale. The bowl we are using is completely round and measures 8 inches by 4 inches, which is proportional to the astronaut's habitat, which is 30 feet by 15 feet. And then there are the measurements. Y'all can like read through it on your own. Take a second. But the only problem with our current scale is that it's actually too small right now because when we find out we made it to finals, we didn't have enough time to print out new ones. So the way to fix this problem would just be to scale it all up to where it would be able to hold the five feet of soil. So the advantages of our projects would be by editing the size of the supports, we could control how many feet of soil would be needed if like the size of the lunar domes vary. And then the soil won't move easily and it could last for a long time because it's durable. And then it's pre-assembled on Earth, so it's less work for the astronauts. The disadvantages would be that it's only works on <laughs> a semi-circle habitat and it's a one-time use only, so it couldn't be it couldn't be reused, yeah, like on another habitat. It and would then, be too difficult to take the soil out of it. Yeah. And then dust blowers would need to be accurate and to reach the top. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and then this is a, our previous ideas where we had, we thought of rings, although the rings weren't easily compressible, so we went on to a spiral. But the complications of the spiral was that the sizing would be too, it would be too difficult to fit to a dome to get it precisely. And these are the links just for the material slide so y'all can see where we got like our information and ideas for the material. Thank you for your time. Questions? Excellent, ladies. Uh, so if you'll stop sharing, we'll let people uh, ask questions. First of all, I'm, I'm very impressed.